teaching about, about no past and no future, and that time is simultaneous. That's why there aren't really past lives, and, or as Gary talks about future lives, because that would still be a linear construct. Or even the idea that, you know, I'm not going to be enlightened in this lifetime, but I will be in the next lifetime. It's like, we have to let go of lifetimes. They're part of the hypotheticals, too. As if the soul could come into time and space. Why would the soul come into time and space if it's with God? What purpose would it have to come into something so crazy as linear time? Which is just, you know, guilt and pain and shame. Why would it even do that? There's no reason. People say, well, I went... I had a near-death experience, and I went through this tunnel, and, and there was all these people there from my past, and then I went into this gorgeous light, and I knew everything, and I was one with everything, and I was, I was total truth, and I was one with God, and then the light told me I had to go back. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Let me hear this straight. <laughs> you got through the tunnel. <laughs> But you saw all these dead people that you knew from the past that you thought you knew. They were all hypothetical too. And then the light told you you had to go back. Oh, come on. You really expect me to believe this? People do confide in me. I had some people over the years who would come to me and they would say, David, I don't tell people this because it's too radical, it's too strange, and I don't want to tell my parents, I don't tell my mom and freak her out or anything, but she, I had an out-of-body experience. I said, tell me about it. I said, I was just, I was mowing the grass, I came in, I was very tired, I laid on the couch, and suddenly I was up in the corner of the room. I could see my body. I wasn't in my body. I had an out-of-body experience. It's really radical. I said, well, you can't really have an out-of-body experience unless you believe that you were in one in the first place. You can't really do that. All that was was just a symbol that you were much more than the body in what you could comprehend at the time. They said, and they said, I can see the body. I said, I said, were there eyeballs up in the top of the room? No. I could hear the sounds of what was going on, even though I wasn't in the body, I could still hear. Were there little ears up in the corner of the room? No. That's just showing you that perception is part of consciousness and it's not related to the body. Everybody thinks the five senses are directly related to the body. That if you didn't have a body, you wouldn't sense. If you had no body. That's an erroneous too. Because it's all mind, it's all consciousness. That's why people can see their body from above. That's why they can hear what the doctors make jokes as they're, you know, giving them a, an electric charge. Why were you telling me? Why were you telling a joke? You're supposed to be saving my life. You know, they can read, they can tell the doctors what happened because they're viewing it as if from above and beyond. But it's it's all a mental picture. It's all mental. So, 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 so what I'm getting, hearing, finally, <laughs> is it's not that we're not a body, we don't need a body. No, it's absolutely we unnecessary. We need a body to, wow. And the world is, the, is the same. The linear world is the same thing. And you that's what we're afraid of. Yeah, afraid of losing something. We're afraid of losing that which we only know because we're so identified with our body and we think, well, if we're not that, then we won't have anything. It's empty and meaningless. But what you're just saying is that's not the It's not the case. Ah! It's not the I, case. I feel that yeah. for the first time. But there's joy with that. Yes, you there's still a little joy. It's, it's there's, no, there's no it's threat. It's a dream. There's no threat. No, there's no threat. Yeah, the thing that I'm most afraid of is just like bursting a bubble. Yeah. It's like popping a bubble. Right, the bubble. Mm -hmm. so, there's, so if you can follow it, then, then you start to realize that, that there's no reason for worry, concern, stress, anxiety. It's these thoughts, somehow, that the past was real, and that the future is real, and somehow, it's like wasting your only moment that you've got, your now moment, and covering it over with a bunch of future thoughts. Mm -hmm.